Having spent around $1,000 and waiting potentially a few years to receive an AKX headset, I can see that a lot of people would kind of want to have a good experience getting out of the box, see that it's well packed, etc. So here's what it looks like. Top is shipping information of course, front is a corporate logo. Back, it's basically the same thing. Sides are shipping information. Also the size of the box, 390 by 350 by 190 millimeters. The other side is basically the same thing with a business card. Bottom of the box does show tape with a corporate logo and Pimax in English and Chinese. So. Obviously they have their own custom made tape. And you can see that same tape is extending up around the sides. The sealed plastic wrap was the way that it arrived. So at some point in the shipping process, it was sealed up. Uh, let's go ahead and open the plastic wrap. So here is the box again, but with the packing slips and wrap removed. Top, front, sides, and the business card, back, and bottom. It's actually a fairly nice high quality box. It's noticeably different from the usual cardboard which has more of a corrugated feel on the surfaces. This has more of a polished feel, so there is that. Nice bubble wrap here, very well packed. Um, it's a plain surface here, there's no overlapping folds or anything like that. So let's see if we can get this out without any damage. It's apparently a nice actual box of bubble wrap around it. Again, not folded, but molded around the box. So it's a bubble wrap bag, it goes around from this side to here. Looks like the orientation of the box inside 
may have been opposite the orientation of box outside. Yeah, so this is the front of the box on the outside, and this is the front of the inner box. And you can see that this one is upside down relative to this one. Not necessarily a problem, could be intentional. We'll go ahead and get the original box out of the way. Go ahead and pull this out. Get that out of the way too. So that was packed upside down. A few minor scratches there, but nothing to worry about. Nice lid. Nice so far. Lift this out. Nice little foam padding here. And what we've all been waiting for, the actual headset. Looks like it was packed with some silica gel, which is always good to see. And there we have it. Headset, cable, and that's everything. And it just fits right in the box. So potentially you could reuse this box. Let's see how that works and if there's anything under this Insert here. Nice little foam standoff in the middle. Oh, this looks nice. More silica gel. When you're storing stuff at home after it's reached you, you can use Damprid calcium chloride to keep things dehumidified. Can't really do that in shipping because it turns to a liquid, but once you have it home, then you can go ahead and really put things into a very dehumidified storage container. So this looks fairly nice. Polishing cloth, always nice to have. Definitely nice to have one that you can dedicate just to your headset so there's no possibility of scratching the lenses with anything. Um, basic setup instructions here shows you how to attach the head strap or adjust it, how to connect it to the computer, um, suggestion to download PyTool. Ah, you can see that this is specific to the 8KX. This isn't just a generic card. Of course it has to be though because these cables you would only have with an 8KX. Uh, inside the card, some mentions of the open MR form. That's always nice to see. Some numbers that you can call. Oh yeah, and they did send me a email giving me a sort of a dedicated support channel, which is nice for a flagship product, really shows how they view this as their top end product and they want to make sure that the first units that are shipped, they're getting feedback and they do seem to be taking that feedback into account. Uh, recommended base stations, so this is actually a really good idea. Putting the base stations at the corner of the room, high up, these base stations work much better when they have a good bit of distance between the headset and the base stations. If they get too close, they'll still keep working if they've already been initialized, but the headset won't start up correctly if it's too close to the base stations. And more documentation of how to correctly connect the cables, also specific to the 8KX. Um, mentioned that you need to pair your controller with PyTool and to, uh, reminding you to adjust the IPD. 
interpupillary distance. And the rest of this is just FOM insert, apparently. Yeah, that doesn't really come out. But now, let's see if this goes back together conveniently. Of course, this part's going to fit together fairly easily. All the nice little documentation cards. Put back in the original package if we can. See if we could just, yeah, we could conveniently put those. No, we lose track of them. Oh well. The important thing though is whether you could use this as a carrying case. So if we take the cables out of their nice little, oh, nice, kind of nice logo on the strap itself, the headset itself is very clean tiny bit of what feels like it might be dust, but it's a very, very clean surface. Um, yeah, that's a little bit of dust. But it's very smooth, very shiny. You can feel the rubberized coating. Not sure if those hinges are plastic or metal yet. So let's go ahead and get the cables out of here. Ah, you have a nice little thing to wind them up in. If I remember correctly, the Oculus Rift was a little bit less convenient about the cable management and it didn't make quite as nice of a uh, storage box as a result. I assume this is about the size of a human hand, so I assume that wrapping this up around your hand as preparation to put it in a box wouldn't really be too much trouble. So you wouldn't necessarily need to deal with the um, spool there. fits in like that. I'll go ahead and lay these on the top. It doesn't look like they would really get crushed uh, if you were somewhat careful about this. Then you could you could put this in. Yeah that would that would keep you from having to crush the cables and give you some protection. So that's actually nice to have there. Put this down, and there you have a nice, fairly convenient box for carrying the headset around in if you want to make sure it's protected. I think it's a little large to fit into a suitcase. You could probably find a way to safely pack the headset without the box, but still it's nice to see that the box has a nice presentation when you open the headset for the first time and it also doubles as a nice shipping case for a fairly expensive and one of the nicest headsets there that there is. There really isn't any competition to Pimax, especially in terms of both field of view and resolution. The cables are fairly similar to the units that were at CES and the Roadshow. Uh, they do feel a little bit more slick, a little bit, um, a little bit less rubbery. That could be because they haven't been used as much. Probably is. 
they seem to be about the same thickness. There's a little bit of bunching up here. That'll smooth out in time though. And that's the range of motion. Uh, if that's the range of motion, I can see why that might be an issue for some people. I'll have to look into adjusting that further. Uh, now this is nice to have a nose piece, which the um, units at CES only had one type of and didn't quite fit me, so it'll be interesting to try that. And the this insert here, this is very important. Whenever you have a VR headset, if you're at any risk of taking it outside or into any uh, location where you might have a very bright light source, very intense light source, you don't want to risk that being imaged to a small spot on the displays and burning out the pixels. So it's nice to have a cover like this that you can use later. Looks like the foam here is a little crooked. That's not going to be hard to deal with. I have a trick myself for that. I either align the foam so it's close to the outside or close to the inside as I put it all the way around. This definitely looks like the s -Mass headset, so it'll be interesting to see what the audio quality is, get a decent frequency sweep on that. And that's, for, that's basically it. Uh, even having been one of the lucky few in the world to have had early access to the basic VR headset with the resolution field of view that this thing has, uh, it's still kind of exciting to open up the new headset for the first time, see one that's in perfectly new condition, and get a chance to see how that compares with the sort of prototype headsets that I've seen so far.